Welcome to my midweek Chinese takeaway cook along for the primary school Key Stage 1, Key Stage 2. Um, today we're going to be listening to Hairspray, um, the 2007 motion picture soundtrack, and um, we're cooking my easy satay skewers. Now, before we do any cooking or of anything, what we've got to do is marinate and um, tenderize our meat. Um, so, if you're using chicken, um, pork, lamb, um, this will work. What you'll need to do first of all is chop your chicken or lamb or pork into um, bite-sized pieces. Now I'm using king prawns, so um, but you want about a piece about as big as, big as your thumb. Doesn't matter if your thumb's not as big as mine, but chop your chicken up into bite-sized pieces. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Um, if you haven't already pre-soaked some skewers, go and pre-soak your skewers as well. Um, we're going to cook these in a frying pan, so it's not major if you haven't done it. Um, but it just stops them burning just in case, okay? Now, if you're using tofu as well, ideally you want to use the pre-fried tofu um, or fry your tofu first. If you haven't fried your tofu, don't worry about it. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna marinate our meat, okay? So I've got around about a teaspoon of corn flour, which I'm just gonna add to my king prawns. Obviously you add to your chicken or pork. I've now got a splash, there's about teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of soy sauce. That's the light soy sauce, which is for seasoning. I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And I'm just gonna pop that into my prawns. But we're gonna massage the corn flour, soy sauce all together, and the um, sesame oil. And we just wanna make sure that these are well coated. Now ideally you wanna do this about 20 minutes before you're gonna cook. Now these are gonna marinate for about five, 10 minutes, which is fine today. But in, normally, if you can give it 20 minutes, great. If you can give it an hour, even better. For the sauce, um, we're gonna do a homemade set, um, satay sauce. You can pre-buy this. Now, a lot of Chinese takeaways and restaurants will use Jimmy's satay sauce. So um, by all means, write that down. But if you go onto Amazon and look for Jimmy's satay sauce, that's normally the sauce that they will be serving in restaurants and takeaways. This one we're doing from scratch, okay? So for this, you're going to need one cup of water, three tablespoons of crunchy peanut butter. If you don't have crunchy, obviously you can use your smooth peanut butter. Um, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Now the dark soy sauce is for color and sweetness. Um, we have one tablespoon of brown sugar, demerara sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, but you know, you can use white sugar, um, castor sugar, anything sweet basically. You can even try it with honey. I bet it's really nice with honey as well actually. Um, we have half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now the recipe has said about fresh garlic cloves. Um, I wanted to try this with the powder and we're gonna finish it all off with a squeeze of lime. So what I'm gonna do is combine these ingredients in the saucepan. I'm going to turn my pan on and the first thing I'm going to do is add my cold water and again there's one cup of cold water. This is then followed by three tablespoons of crunchy peanut butter and you can see how simple this is when it all comes together. Two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, in that goes. Um, one tablespoon of brown sugar or demerara sugar or any sugar that you've got and lastly we've got half a teaspoon of fresh um, of garlic powder uh, I've got another lorry just turned up now it's all happening here today so we're just going to gently bring that up to a low simmer so I'm going to keep an eye on it because I don't want it to boil over and I don't want it to bubble away too hard uh, but I just need it to combine and heat up and just all mix together. As the sauce is cooking what we can do, um, why our king prawns, chicken, pork or lamb is marinating, we can thread them onto the skewers. So again these are pre-soaked and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put four or five on each skewer and I'm actually going to do um, two skewers which makes it a lot easier to, um, to flip them over in the pan. So I'm going to go through the fat part first, just like that. So there's number two. Uh, yeah, we'll probably actually, we'll only get about three on for each of these actually. So there's those three. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a second skewer 
just up through the middle. Now, if you've got the flat skewers, you don't need to do this. It's just that my skewers are quite round and they're going to spin around on the skewers otherwise. You can see I can flip them over now. So they're the first ones. Now my sauce is just starting to boil away. So I'm going to turn this down to a simmer. And there are my skewers ready. So I just pop those down to one side again. I can get rid of this glove now. Now this is sticking up a lot quicker than I thought it was going to do actually. So it's had about two minutes or so just on a low blip and that peanut butter has really helped thicken this up and it's blipping all over the place so I'm just going to give it a quick season a taste and just check well that went all over me oh lovely that's lovely okay so I'm switching this off now grab your frying pan if you have a really large wok you could use a wok but I need a bit more surface space so what I need to do now, because I'm using a cast iron um, frying pan, I need to get this red hot before I do anything with it. So I'm going to um, just let this get up to heat. Um, if you do miss one of my lives, because obviously my lives at the moment are just Wednesdays at 12 and 6.30, you can go over to um, youtube.com forward slash Gotlinwan where um, I edit the videos, I take out this chit chat basically, and uh, you get the recipe in about eight or nine minutes. My frying pan is coming up to heat. Children, please be careful because, you know, if you touch that now, it's gonna really burn. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of oil, just to coat the bottom of the pan. You can see it's smoking straight away. Now carefully, I'm gonna stand back so it's a splash. I'm just gonna lay my king prawns into the pan. Get my serving plate out. Don't worry about touching these for about 45 seconds or so. I am looking at trying to get that colour on the bottom of the king prawn. Now in my cookbooks I say about using groundnut oil or peanut oil. But the reason being is that peanut oil, peanut oil and ground groundnut oil, they um, they can take a lot more heat and they, they, they don't ruin. So when I say ruin is that you don't want to sort of like, um, the oil as it gets hotter and hotter it starts to deteriorate, if that's such a word. Uh, whereas the peanut and groundnut oil can hold a lot more heat. And because um, when I'm cooking in a wok, the oil is so hot, I say use groundnut oil. But if all you've got is vegetable oil or coconut oil or rapeseed oil, use that. Um, in rare occasions, you can use olive oil. Obviously, don't use olive oil if you're going to be deep frying. Um, but for, for stir frying, it's not too bad. You will get a bit of flavour um, from the oil, which isn't a bad thing. Um, obviously, the Chinese don't use olive oil. So... But like I said, just a good vegetable oil, or I'm just thinking what other oils there are out there. So, but I don't know if you can see that, I'm getting a nice colour on my king prawns. I'm not worrying about this um, charring. Now this charring is just, it's adding texture, it's adding flavour. Uh, so just don't be worried about that. You don't need your food just to be pale all the time. You want to try and inject as much flavour as you can into each of these dishes. Now we've got the soya sauce, which is going to be salty. We've got the dark soya sauce, which is going to be rich and that umami we've got the crunchy peanut butter so we've got texture we've now created this char on the king prawn let me just flip these over again uh, and the king prawns are naturally sweet as well so i'm going to try and stand them up for a minute oh lovely oh that one's going to fall over oh, that lay down. um so again so like, you know when you're cooking you've got to cook you good don't think of it it's just it's just a king prawn you know it's either going to be gelatinous or it's going to be wobbly no it's going to be sweet, it's going to be juicy, it's going to be crunchy, it's going to have texture, it's going to have that smoky flavour from the, from, the, from the oil. So, you know, and you see I've not turned the heat down, you can see my pan smoking away, you know, it's all about that heat, you know, cook with heat. And you know, the king prawns don't take long. Um, if you're cooking chicken or lamb or pork, then yes, okay, so if you are doing that at home, turn the heat down ever so slightly because you will need to cook it slightly longer. But towards the end, or even at the beginning, then give it some colour. Get the heat back up again and get that colour back on the, on the dishes, on the meat, sorry. So, okay, so these are now done. So I'm going to put my king prawns on my plate. Like that. Now, before I put the sauce on, 
I want you to have a look at that. You can see how lovely and charred and brown they are. Okay, now they've naturally got a lovely succulent juicy flavour from the soy sauce that we put on earlier and the um, sesame oil which is going to give it that nutty note. Now you can reheat the, um, the satay sauce, I don't think you need to, you can see that there's still steam coming off of that so I'm just going to give it a mix, it's going to be standing and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to carefully drizzle some of this satay sauce over my king prawns. I won't need all of it so again this as well guys you can if you don't use it in the next couple of days pop it into um, a little freezer tray or bag and you can freeze it and use it next time just reheat it from frozen it's absolutely fine now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna give it a squeeze of lime which is gonna add acidity and just break through sort of like that peanut and that saltiness I put that on the side and there we have it one very nice looking plate or my easy satay king prawn skewers in this case please give it a go um, nice and simple children i hope you enjoy your lunch i shall see you later guys bye bye there you go so they're my satay king prawns give it a go guys see you later bye bye